I know what you're thinking. I know what it is. First off, what's up with the long beard? You know, it's it's been a while. I'm I've been unable to shave, and it's annoying. And I literally get to a barber shop, and it's closed. And I sat here. I'm waiting for about 15 minutes, and won't open. And I don't know what time it's supposed to open. It's one of my watch up there. So, second thing, I know you're wondering why we're in Valentine right now. I'll get to that. So basically, what's been going on? We were up here at the old ranch. Uh, so, we had some trouble, there were some goobers making a bunch of mess, so they were like, can you help us? I was like, yeah, sure, so I got my gun, I went and killed them all. So that happened, they are like, wow, good job, blah, 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 and my wife was all like, oh, you're so fucking stupid, what the hell's wrong with you, blah, 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 I was like, ah, okay, I'm sorry. And then I got a letter from old Sadie saying, hey, I got a bank job for good money or something like that, some kind of job with good money. So, uh, yep. And then I got that's so and this is the end of the, uh, part one of the epilogue. I did look it up. It's I got this mission, I got one more which is all the way down. Oh uh where's that but the the oh there it is. <laughs> but apparently apparently this barbershop's open, so I don't know if I've just been bamboozled or what, but this one is this one is open and this is the next the, the other mission so I got these two missions and it's the uh, end of that blog I'm gonna go ahead and do the Sadie one first uh, what happened was after my wife was all like oh what the heck is wrong with you stupid blah blah, blah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. she like just up and leaves and so I'm like oh okay well I guess I'll just go after her and then I gotta go take care of some other stuff while I'm out so I can't We'll get a haircut, which is annoying because I really want a haircut. I need to get this beard cut off. I look disgusting. It's so, actually I have it at the max length without the stuff or whatever. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. Sean Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> We didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke. Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She. She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property, Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh. Well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. <laughs> Sounds easy. Where are we going? Okay. Hello. Wait, where's Strawberry at? It's a fat man in a way, I think. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. This is going to be a long ride. Oh, man. I literally just came from there, too. But it's whatever. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. 
This country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. What? Oh, thank God. I was really hoping it would skip us there. And for the most part, it will. Phew, this game still blows me away. It's so purdy. So I'll see if I can do both missions in this one video and just cut the traveling out uh, between the uh, missions. It just depends on how long this one is. I get the feeling it's gonna be kinda long though. Oh, what's my horse doing? What are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? All right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, forty-five. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. All right. Let's see if this dude knows anything. No. So am I supposed to ask someone specific? What's going on here? Hey, I've, I've been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. Don't waste my time, stupid bitch. What about you? You know? Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. General store, huh? Is that up here? Where's the, where's the general store at? Is up? Is this the general store? I don't know where the general store is. Hold on, can I look on that? Oh, yeah, okay. This is the same place I went earlier. Hopefully they don't... That'd be kind of awkward if they're like, Hey, weren't you supposed to be doing work for us? Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. A New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Oh my gosh. On a wild goose chase right now, jeez. Am I supposed to ask this fellow? Let me ask him, so I guess it's not him. Well, I guess I can't ask him. Hotel owner, okay. Well, can it? No, okay, there we go. Okay, why is it being like this? This is quite an occurrence. What now? Uh, easy enough. I feel like something messed up. I feel like it was supposed to have a quote. I think they were supposed to say something, but messed up. So I'm just going to go up here. It's kind of weird. What room? Is it room three? I really hope so. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Open the goddamn door. 
Oh, yes! Alright, come on, let's go then. Oh my gosh, alright. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Come on now, John. Let's get it. Mr. Kirk, you'll do yourself an injury. Dang, he's. Well, I can't freaking get up to him because of my stupid horse. Fuck it. Yeah, I know. Here we go, here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, okay. Whew. Whoa! What you got there? Okay, okay. I don't deserve this treatment. Just one of them things, huh, pal? Here we go. Finally, freaking took him forever, Kirk. but I got him. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife. My wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did. Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Sounds good to me. Okay, Missy. All right, can I go get a haircut now? <laughs> All right, Blackwater, here we come. This is the first time we're going to Blackwater in this game. There's so much talk about it ever since the start of it, the game. Oh, man, it's exciting. What are you doing there, Sadie? <laughs> Anyways, I think we'll cut to wherever I get there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. Oh, man. I'm starting to remember this now. Oh, man. Just like Blackwater from the original Red Dead. So it's pretty good. my haircut is it close it, I, it better not be closed oh we're gonna cop himself a freaking haircut yes gotta hurry don't want them to close I just want to trim there, bud. Probably don't get it about that much. Yeah. I don't care for styles. I just want. I just want it all off.
Oh, man, it looks so weird. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Phew, looking good. I like it. All right. Go do this next mission. Oh gosh. Okay. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? Can I help you? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I want a loan, sir. Oh my gosh. It's a line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. I just want a house, man. That's all I want. I just want a house. Let's see where this is at. Let's see. Oh man, we're getting all the way over here to this old school. The original map. Morning. Wait, is this not the... Is this not part of the... Wait, am I buying some property that's not on the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, so... Am I not buying my house that I bought from the original game? Well, the first, I guess from the first one. I don't think I am. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It just depends on... I, I didn't see it. Oh, what the hell? Uh... Uh, what... Uh... Okay. I'm just going to ignore that for right now. Just, there's two dead bodies on the horse, and then one horse dead. Interesting. All right, I don't think this is part of the old, uh, the old map. Oh, well, maybe it is. Okay. Is it? No. I'm just so confused right now. Oh, what the hell? Can I help you, 
friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! Okay, cool. I just didn't have any dead eye, I guess. Here, so we're going to live here. Phew. Phew. I don't know how. Uh, I'm kind of curious about how this game's going to officially end, quote unquote. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Flight's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, <laughs> for real. Well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> God, I freaking hate him. Get some of my every last nerves. I'm ready. Follow me. I don't 
care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Whoa! This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John. The rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. God, this old fool. He told, uh, John reminds me a lot of, uh, Arthur. He ain't doing shit. Old piece of shit. beard grown back out. Part two. This is the final part of the game. I'm excited to get this over with. <laughs> Is my beard already grown out long as hell? Okay, no. It's not grown out that long. I was about to say. Man, this place is looking pretty good. I like the little run he does. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Almost a level 8. Alright, well, before we go on any further, I guess we'll end it there. So. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.